Hey everyone, Cars here from A Difficult Truth. So the YouTube algorithm fed me this beautiful gem of a video titled No Climate Emergency Says 500 Scientists to the UN. This is from a channel called Friends of Science, which, spoiler alert, there are no friends of science. This channel has over 16,000 subscribers and each video gets thousands of views. Uh, so this has to be responded to and has to be debunked. So let's just take a look at the video. I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. On the same day that 16-year-old Greta Thunberg delivered her impassioned speech to the UN on her claim that there is a climate emergency, a group of 500 qualified scientists and commentators sent the UN Secretary General. Okay, so let's take a note of this clintel. And on the top right, Professor Gus Burkhout. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right this registered letter, making it clear that there is no climate emergency. For some reason, despite most major news outlets claiming that they are covering climate now, this has not surfaced as news. Maybe because it's a load of BS. That's curious, isn't it? I know that our organization sent the press release to at least 500 media contacts. Over 500 media contacts and not one of them found it credible enough to follow through. So maybe it will just reach more people if I just read the message to you. Your Excellencies, there is no climate emergency. A global network of more than 500 knowledgeable and experienced scientists and professionals in climate and related fields have the honor to address Your Excellencies in the attached European Climate Declaration, for which the signatories to this letter are the... So there's that name again. Gus Burkow and Richard Linsen is actually a known climate change denier. In fact, don't take my word for it, just Google his name, Richard Linsen. The national ambassadors. The general circulation models of climate on which international policy is at present founded are unfit for their purpose. Therefore, it is cruel as well as imprudent to advocate the squandering of trillions on the basis of results from such immature models. Current climate policies pointlessly, grievously, undermine the economic system, putting the lives at risk in countries denied access to affordable, continuous electrical power. The shilling for oil and gas companies is palpable. We urge you to follow a climate policy based on sound science, realistic economics, and genuine concern for those harmed by costly but unnecessary attempts at mitigation. We ask you to place the declaration on the agenda of your imminent New York session. We also invite you to organize with us a constructive, high-level meeting between world-class scientists on both sides of the climate debate early in 2020. So this is implying that there is two sides of the climate debate when in reality over 90% of scientists, 97% of scientists are in agreement. There's no two sides to this. The meeting will give effect to the sound and ancient principle no less of sound science than of natural justice that both sides should be fully and fairly heard. Audiator et altera pars. Let the other side be heard as well, except there is no other side. Please let us know your thoughts about such a joint meeting. Yours sincerely, Ambassadors of the European Climate Declaration. So here are the main points that they made. There's no climate emergency. Climate science should be less political. Whoa. This is implying that climate science is political? I mean, that's just obviously false. Science is not political at all. Natural as well as anthropogenic factors cause warming. Well, glad we agree. Anthropogenic factors do cause warming. Warming is far slower than predicted. I'm going to need some receipts for that. Climate policy relies on inadequate models. 
CO2, carbon dioxide, is plant food, the basis of all life on Earth. Oh my God. This is a classic talking point for climate change deniers. CO2 is plant food, the basis of all life on Earth. So therefore, it's not really a problem, except CO2 is also a greenhouse gas, which if you took any elementary uh, any elementary science class, you would know that what greenhouse gases do, especially in the amounts that they are in as, as of right now, they trap heat. And that's what makes global warming happen. This is just basic... Global warming has not increased natural disasters. Really? I live in Florida, so we know a thing or two about hurricanes. And these storms are getting bigger. They're getting stronger. In fact, there was a, a hurricane not too long ago that was even threatening uh, uh, Canada. I mean, uh, on the East Coast. When have you ever heard of a hurricane possibly threatening Canada? And you're telling me that global warming has not increased natural disasters? Climate policy must respect scientific and economic realities. That's true. It's, that is absolutely true. I actually agree with that. There's no climate emergency. There's no cause for panic and alarm. We strongly oppose the harmful and unrealistic net zero CO2 policy proposed for 2050. If better approaches emerge, we will have ample time to reflect and adapt. The aim of international policy should be to provide reliable and affordable energy at all times, i.e. gas and oil, and throughout the world. So that is the end of the message sent to the UN by 500 expert scientists and qualified commentators. I sincerely hope this statement will offer young people some peace and comfort. While I respect the desire of so many young people and children to stand up for something, I see that some people are, are literally frightened into paralyzing anxiety. That's not how children should live their lives. Agreed. Maybe the adults should do something about it. And, as you just saw, it doesn't reflect the scientific facts. I hope all of you will research the topic of climate change and, and see how vast and interesting it is, and, and not just listen to activists like Greta. And not just listen to activists like Greta. Greta Thunberg is not asking us to listen to her. She's asking us to unite behind the science. I respect Greta too. She's clearly acting out of deep passion and fear. But as these 500 scientists point out, there's nothing to fear. There's no climate emergency. Everyone can go back to school and study science, math, and the stars. Okay, so that's enough for that propaganda. So no climate emergency, everybody go home. Nothing to see here. Um, so remember I told you to uh, keep in mind that name. They actually tried to post a link in the description, but um, that uh, doesn't really lead anywhere. We actually did a little bit of research to find the page that she um, that she was referencing to. A group of 500 prominent scientists and professionals led by Clintel co and co-founder Gus Burkhout. So we did a quick Google search on who this guy was. This guy is apparently a Dutch engineer who worked for the oil and gas industry. Color me shocked. And his um, foundation in mid-2019, um, they had a leak in which, <laughs> in which they had plans showing that they were organizing a campaign against political commitments the net zero carbon emissions being made to law. The campaign features a number of academics and industry figures with ties to climate change denial groups, as well as members from the oil and gas companies. So this is who, this is what their source is. So nothing to see here, folks. The oil and gas industries have told us that everything is okay. I mean, if you look at their channel, this is some Prager U style of propaganda. These people are not to be trusted. Every single one of their sources goes back to a 
conservative uh, foundation or an organization that is pushing for climate change denial. In fact, I encourage you to check out their website. I encourage you to check out their bibliography sources and see for yourself. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and ring the little bell so that you get notifications when our videos go live for you. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash difficult truth. Make sure you like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash difficult truth official. You can also listen to the podcast at soundcloud.com slash difficult truth. And now you can follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash difficult truth. Come be a part of the conversation. I'll leave all the links in the description below. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. See ya.